We open today's show on a serious note as internet comedy sensation and actor Kunle Dou, popularly known as Frank Donga, is encouraging his peers and other comedians to deliver substance with comedy. The comedian, who is known to have over the years addressed serious issues from a humorous perspective, told Entertainment News during a recent interview that although comedy is primarily to make people laugh, comic content can be laced with a bit of substance to drive on more serious points. Listen to him. And I'm not surprised most comics in the world have uh, been able to infuse deep messages into, into their craft. Uh, if you look at people like uh, Jordan Peele of Key and Peele from Comedy Central, his, uh, I think his first solo movie called Get Out um, had a very deep societal, racial message. And so comics over the years have been known to come up with very inciting, very uh, topical issues in their comedy and also when they branch out to almost like a biography or life, um, uh, movies or content based on uh, real life scenarios. So entirely and generally speaking in entertainment in Nigeria, I hope to see that growth from sheer slapstick. Slapstick comedy is still going to have its place, but I hope to see that growth from sheer slapstick to more engaging content. Thrillers, you know, uh, horror, uh, romance, drama, and probably sci-fi too, you know. But Ben, comedy has a way of being able to unite all of this, and I think comedians or comic actors have a unique advantage of weaving all of these genres together. English for it. Sacramento rope. Okay. Because if the rope tie you to your country now, like now, let me see. You have land. Eh, eh. You, you didn't have land. You, see? you didn't have. Mo you have motto. You didn't write it. We, have, we packed that one. We have removed the water. Is it water ordinary motto? Corolla. It's Paneva. Ah, that's problem. Paneva cannot go. It cannot carry you far. Well, I think right after uh, movies like The Wedding Party a couple of years ago, there was a surge in comedy movie production in Nigeria. Almost everybody who was a filmmaker wanted to go into that uh, part of the business. And understandably so, because of the economic gains. And so there was this tremendous uh, volume of movies produced. Some of them, you know, probably didn't meet up to the expectation of the audience. But I think over time, uh, things are beginning to settle down. The audience is maturing. With the advent of newer movies like King of Boys, you know, people are beginning to get to know that you know, there's a whole lot more that can be done. So I think everybody's finding their, like we say on the street, their square roots now. <laughs> people are beginning to find uh, their, their level and put more thoughts, more hard work into their craft. And I think uh, the last one year in particular has been quite interesting for me as a person, as a comic actor and a comedian, and also for the industry as a whole. Growth, I see serious growth. People are beginning to understand the, the, the principles and the nitty-gritties and also beginning to explore more, branch out of just sheer, simple comedy to something more, something deeper. And I think that's the direction that 2019 is going to take us. 2019 is going to take us to a level where people are going to put more um, uh, ingenious content out there. Even though it's comedy, it's going to be ingenious, it's going to be deep, it's going to be multifaceted. Yeah.